Oh. oh, hello there. Welcome. Are you here to journey with us? We're off to find some hawthorn berries. My little friend here is quite sick. Join us. Here we are. We got some hawthorn berries. Now this tree is pretty hard to tell from its leaves, but you can definitely tell from its berries. These little pulpy berries are full of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory chemicals. So if I feed them to my little sheep here, his heart will be good as new. They'll help him breathe better and help him experience less palpitations and less anxiety. You see, they're not just for the physical heart, they're also for his emotional heart. Poor little guy. He's got extreme anxiety around the rest of the herd, for he's a little smaller than the rest of them. So this is a perfect medicine for him. And for a lonely shepherd like myself as well, this is the kind of medicine that will make me feel a little stronger hearted. For I have a broken heart too. I'm saddened by the fact that I live out in the forest with no friends, other than my little sheep here, that is. Mm. Now when we're working with magical herbs like this, before we get started, it's nice to give a little offering. So we brought some sweet grass here. We're gonna light it on fire and give a little prayer to bring in the higher spirits because it's the spirit of Hawthorne we're looking for today. When I took this little guy to the doctors, they tried to give him a prescription medicine. And then I checked out on the internet and it said, Hawthorne works more effective than any prescription medicine for the heart. So I thought we'd give it a try. Let me know what you think. It feels like he's getting better already. Here you go, little guy. So these berries have been used for centuries by old world medicine. It has a trophy restorative, they say, for the heart. What that means is to restore atrophy to tissues that have been damaged. And as this helps increase circulation, palpitations, works strengthening the heart muscle itself, giving antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. This way, even if we stop using Hawthorne, we've strengthened the heart. That's what a real trophy restorative does, is it really rebuilds the system. It's also very high in flavonoid groups, which are great for any capillary beds of the body, but especially those of the heart muscle. Medicines like this are great just as a berry here. We can also use the leaves, we can also use the flowers in the spring. They're very abundant. Although the berries will have more of those properties that'll stay for a little longer. So they're the best medicine for me to pick. They happen here in the light fall, late October. Sometimes I can't hear this guy breathing. I get worried about him. Is your heart working properly, little friend? Better eat a few more hawthorn berries. There you go. I think he's getting better already. Oh. Now you know, even though we use this as a heart medicine, it's also good for digestion. In fact, in old world traditions, we used to add this to meats. So when this little guy's come to age and he's ready to be eaten, we might add a little hawthorn berry to him to help digestion. Sound good, little fellow? I got no answer, but I think it'll be okay. Now it's really hard to tell which species this is by the leaves, but we do know that any hawthorn berry is interchangeably used. So whatever kind you find near you, it's going to be the best one for you. They do, however, have these great, powerful thorns up in here that will sting you if you try to take too much. This is also a doctrine of signature for saying, I am abundant in giving, but I will prick you if you don't respect me. So we got to be careful, because if these thorns sting us, oh, then our circulation will surely pour out of us, and our heart will surely be sore. In fact, these little thorns used to be used as sewing needles. To sew up a broken heart, that is. If you find yourself with a broken heart or a bum ticker, then check out Hawthorn. There's many, many benefits to enjoy from this plant. And we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, check out below, make a comment, share it with your friends, or see some of our other videos on plants where there's much more for this lonely shepherd to share. Until next time, we'll see you again.